I am Bhavan Dwe Puthi. One more time, we are in this beautiful chapter number one, Living Tissue, and that is it. And grade 11, General Science, English Medium. It is, we are going to talk about animal tissues today. And this is going to be your video number seven. So let's understand the animal tissues today. The animal body is also made up of a different types of cells. For example, the human body is made up of about 210 different types of cells. There are groups of cells with a common origin to perform a particular function in the multicellular animal body. Main types of animal tissues are number one, epithelial tissue connective tissue, muscle tissue, nervous tissue. So, we are here to understand the epithelial tissue. This is the tissue that lines up the free surfaces internal and external of the vertebrate body. Some of them are composed of single layer of cells and the others are with several cell layers. Now let's understand the features of epithelial tissues. If the cells are placed on a basement membrane. The cells are tightly packed and you can find a nucleus in that a nerve supply is present within the tissue but there is no blood supply nerve supply is present within the tissue but there is no blood supply the epithelial tissue is classified according to the shape of the cell and the number of cell layers one more time the epithelial tissue is classified according to the shape of the cell and the number of cell layers. Examples for several locations of epithelial tissues wall of blood capillaries, thyroid gland, lining of nasal cavity, wall of urinary bladder, skin, you call it as epidermis also. So we found out the example for several locations of epithelial tissues once again wall of blood capillaries thyroid gland lining of nasal cavity wall of urinary bladder and skin you call it as epidermis now it's time for us to understand the functions of epithelial tissue Lining up of free surfaces and protection protects the internal organs from pressure, friction and microbes. So the epithelial tissues protect the internal organs of the body, of the human body. Another one is absorptive function. The epithelium of digestive tract absorbs digestive end products. Perception of stimuli is the next one. The epithelium of tongue and nose detect taste and smell senses. Secretory function, secretions of mucus by the lining epithelium of respiratory tract happens. Secretion of mucus by the lining epithelium of respiratory tract. Filtering function also it does. Epithelium of Bowman's capsules in nephron filters blood. So that's a very important tissue 
that we found in our body that does so many work. Let's get the knowledge about connective tissue in our next session. Until then, bye-bye and take care of yourself.